right, I call the meeting to order. Will everybody please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The New Jersey Open Public Meetings Law was, create, was enacted to ensure the right of the public to have advance notice of and to attend the meeting of public bodies at which any business affecting their interest is discussed or act upon. In accordance with the provisions of this act, the Cedar Grove Board of Education has caused notice of this meeting to be advertised by having the date, the time, and place thereof posted on bulletin boards in the district, published and or transmitted to the Verona Cedar Grove Times and Star Ledger newspapers, tap into online news, filed with the township clerk, and posted on the district's website. The meeting is open to the public for comments on items on the agenda. And I forgot roll call, so roll call, please. <laughs> yeah, Mr. we'll get to it. Mr. Pravulovich, Mr. Schoner. Here. Mr. Valero. Here. Mr. Mandela. Here. Mrs. Dye. Here. Clearly it's summer. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Good. All right. We're in summer mode. All right. Yeah. Fantastic. So a lot of people here, we're starting a little bit late. We apologize for the technical difficulties, but we're gonna move it right along, right? All right, um, I'm assuming nobody has any kind of committee report, really, Mr. Schoener? Okay. No, no, I'm say, not gonna come say come anything, on. no. All right. I was gonna say. I'm gonna wait till later on. He was like turning a page, and I was like, I was, really? I'm gonna wait till later on. All right, on. so then moving on, we, we have a couple, three um, board presentations this evening, right? Yeah. We do, so let's start with the first one that's on the agenda, and that is recognizing um, Sawyer Mo as the Group One Javelin State Champion, and if Mr. Gogarty will. Uh, Thank you. Um, I think it's always great when you get a chance to honor state championship teams and athletes and things like that, and that's what we're gonna do here tonight. Um, the first one is Sawyer Mo who um, was our group one state champion in the Javelin this past tra track and field um, season. Um, a few things about Sawyer, especially when it got down to the nitty and gritty of that tournament competitions. Um, he finished first at the North One Group One Championships with the throw of 185-2. Um, so we moved on and finished first again at the Group One Championships with the throw of 178-8. Um, that, that championship made him move on to the meet of champions, similar to the softball tournament of champions, um, where, where he placed um, in, in eighth place in the entire state um, at the meet of champions with a throw of 183-4. Um, just a little bit about the group one state championship. He is the first athlete since David Njoku, who has won a group one event um, at that championship, so so it kind of shows you right there what what type of company he's in. Um, so I want to bring up here tonight the Group One State Javelin Champion Sawyer Mo. Bye. 
Yeah. Does he have his? And now I'm going to move on to um, our softball team, who I think everyone kind of knows about by now. Um, this past spring season, our softball team won its 13th state sectional championship, its fifth group one state championship, and reached the final four of the first ever tournament of champions. Um, a few bullet points I have to kind of go through the season, and, and it's only a very few compared to what this team really did. Um, the team had a 23 and eight overall record. Um, it was the school's 13th softball sectional championship, and, and I agree with Mr. Tucci, who at the town council meeting said it, it's, 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 it's the most winning program in Cedar Grove High School. It's without a doubt. I don't think it's even close. Um, it's the school's fifth group one state championship. It was named sideline chatter Essex County team of the year. They finished the season ranked 12th in the state by NJ.com. They had five players named to the all conference teams. They had three players named to, to all state teams. Um, and and an NJ.com pitcher of the year who pitched four perfect games few more no hitters and obviously the, 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 the perfect, perfect game, which, which, which we all know about. Um, I just want to talk a few real quickly about the thing that was special to me throughout the year and I got a chance to kind of see this up close and personal and, and I think it's about the leadership. Um, obviously leadership starts from the top. Um, Coach Velarde's passion, her dedication, her enthusiasm is, is really second to kind of none and, and and, and you could tell it carried off on her staff, it carried off on those players and things like that. And, and she kind of reminds me of myself a little bit about that tireless work ethic. She really wants the program to, the, be, to be the best. Um, and then it carried over right to the players. Um, also, leadership has to go further than that. And, and this team had three great senior leaders. Um, great. And, and Sam Brancato, the first one, you know, probably, went through a tough patch there. She, didn't, she, she kind of finished the season earlier than she hoped. Um, you know, a lot of people could have let it wear off on the team. Um, she, she was a leader there. She, she, she led in the dugout. She kind of made sure everyone else did their job. Um, Rihanna Marinelli, you know, I think leaders have to step up in big situations and big games. Um, and, and, and she was the leader who, if the people who watched that playoff run in those championship games, she played her best during those games and during those championship games, and, and that's what leaders do. Um, the last one, Dan Daniela Cordasco, she, she's not here. I have to tell this quick story. Um, this group one semifinal was at Montclair State. I think it was a one o'clock game. I happened to be standing right next to the dugout as the coaches were meeting with the umpires at home plate, Cedar Grove was about to take the field. And, and what a 17-year-old young woman said to the team on the day of their prom, on the big game, big situation, I've coached a lot of teams, I've coached a lot of good teams, I've coached a lot of good players. I wanted to grab the glove and run out there and play. Um, um, and it was just laser focused, enthused, got everyone together, I hope the younger girls learned from those three seniors. Um, I, I think that's how you lead a team. And I think that's a huge part of why they ended up where, where they did. Um, so I congratulate you guys again. I'm gonna call you all up one by one. I'd like you to make your way down, kind of give some handshakes down and come get your certificate as we come down. Um, I'm gonna start with the seniors, Samantha Brancato. Daniela Cordascos, she's not here. Rihanna Marinelli, <laughs> Olivia Spinella, Rasham Jarawala. Michaela Kennedy, Who? Ava Mandela, oh, Allison Kelly, 
Ava Fernandez. Callie McCabe. Kelly Toomey. Congratulations. Kelly Zachariah. Mia Fayetta. Gianna Bocchino. Blair Adams. Congratulations, Blair. Level up. Emily Faziola. Sophie Riddle. Brittany Taylor. Alyssa Coletta. Congratulations. Gianna Kabu. Congratulations. Congratulations. Chloe Weinstein. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ariana Welling. Congratulations. Congratulations. Great job. Congratulations. Lauren Katz. Congratulations. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. And Juliana Sakala. Congratulations. I know. And I'll call all the coaches up, Coach Nikki Velarde, Coach Sarah Littman, and Coach Pete Velarde. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, my friend. Okay. Oh, wait, I want a picture of this, too. Unless you just want to see the black and gold presentation and go after that. Black and gold is just stay for this one. It'll be a quick one. No. All right. As, as, it might be. I don't as know. As exciting as the rest of the meeting is, and I, I know it is, and I know you'd all love to listen to the entire thing. We understand that you're busy. Um, but the, we're going to go through just one small uh, or one other presentation, and then we'll pause the meeting for a couple minutes, and then whoever wants to go, feel free. Don't feel pressured to stay if you don't want to. I'm sure Mrs. <laughs> Marinelli would like to stay, though. Absolutely. You, she can move to a front row seat. And, yes. Right. Relive the memories. Exactly. So, so next, our board presentation, the black and gold presentation of the gymnasium sound system donation. And who's all right? Yeah, we didn't have a name yet. What? Good evening, Ms. Miga. How are you this evening? <laughs> You've got small font there. <laughs> Do you want me to get a picture by giving you a check? Yes. Sure. Okay, give me your Should phone. Should I stand sure. up there? Yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Don't worry about that. 
Apparently I have to stand up and make sure you actually hand me the chat. So whoever's watching live hears everything you're saying. Just saying. Open mic night? I'm, I'm Michelle Megan. I'm from the Cedar Grove High School Black and Gold Club. This is Danielle Capps. She's from the Black and Gold Club as well. We are happy to help with the purchase of the new sound system for the Cedar Grove High School. It will be placed in the gym. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the sports management class up there, which phenomenal program, by the way, has raised over $4,500 of the funds for the purchase. They had a very successful volleyball event, and they did a great job. Cedar Grove High School All School Council donated another thousand dollars, and the Black and Gold Club <laughs> is donating the balance, one thousand six hundred sixty-seven dollars and eleven cents, to make the purchase happen. We felt strongly from the beginning that this was a very necessary purchase, girls, huh? Necessary? Yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And we are happy to get the sound system for the students. Now, if it's okay. I'd like to explain a little bit about the Black and Gold Club. Is that okay? Absolutely. Fine. <laughs> we are primarily a scholarship organization. The Black and Gold Club raises funds to recognize graduating seniors who have re represented the high school both in the classroom and through their athleticism. Student athletes representing all 20 of the varsity sports have been recognized with scholarships over the past several years. The Black and Gold Club is a nonprofit organization, and our income is derived from memberships, concession stand sales, merchandise sales, and donations. Our fundraising relies on the kids, the parents, and everybody else to help us out. You will normally recognize us from the concession stand at football games, as well as volleyball games and basketball games. We try to do as many games as we can with the volunteers and the donations that we have. We also provide each senior with a rose on all senior nights. We offer the service of ordering your varsity jackets through the vendor we bring in a few times a year so you don't have to go chasing to find your varsity jackets. We also sell merchandise to help with our school spirit. If you can, reach, if you can help us in any way, please reach out to us as the, the support is always welcome. Now, ways to reach us. We're getting with it. You ready? We're on Facebook. Cedar Grove High School Black and Gold Club. This year, we're on Twitter. At Cedar Grove High School Black and Gold. Wait for it. Instagram for all you guys. Instagram. CGHS Black and Gold. All right? So if anyone out there would like to help support us, we welcome it. You have questions, you want to do anything for us, please feel free because without donations and help, we can't make <coughs> this kind of donation to the Board of Ed. All right? Thank you. Great. Question. Question. Oh, I wasn't taking questions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just on the, when is the sound system going in or is it in already? We're trying to get it in. Uh. We're trying. Oh, great. So, so Oh, great. Good deal. Awesome. from the town council? <laughs> All right, we're just going to take a, a three-minute recess, and then whoever needs to go, it's totally fine, except for Miss Marinelli, because she'll be here, um, and then we'll be back in session. So. <laughs> All right, then. From the Office of the Business Administrator and Board Secretary, under minutes, can I have a motion for B1 through B4? So moved. Second. 
Okay, B1 is a motion to approve the public and executive minutes of June 13th, 2017. B2 is a motion to approve the budgetary transfers for the month of June 2017. B3 is a motion to approve the treasurer's report for the month of May 2017. And B4 is a motion to approve the board secretary certification to the Cedar Grove Board of Education pursuant to the code that no line item account has encumbrances and expenditures which in total exceed the line item appropriation in violation of the code and further pursuant to the code no major account or fund has been overexpended in violation of the code. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Schoner. Aye. Mr. Valero. Aye. Mr. Mandela. Aye. Mrs. Dye. Yes. Under bills, can I have a motion for B5? So moved. Second. B5 is a motion to pay the list of bills that were in our packet. Uh, any discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Schoner. Aye. Mr. Valero. Aye. Mr. Mandela. Aye. Mrs. Dye. Yes. Under business, can I have a motion for B6 through B21? So moved. Second. <clears throat> B6 is a motion to approve the 2017-18 Student Assessment Service Agreement with Performance Matters. B7 is a motion to retroactively approve the location agreement with HSCTV and the Cedar Grove Board of Education. B8 is a motion to retroactively approve the location agreement with Greenpoint Pictures and the Cedar Grove Board of Education. B9 is a motion to approve SSP Video LLC's proposal to film 12 Cedar Grove High School football games at a cost not to exceed $1,620. B10 is a motion to approve the subscription busing contract with the parents with the student listed therein for the 2017-18 school year. B11 is a motion to approve the subscription busing contract with the parents of the student listed uh, for the 2017-18 school year. B12 is a motion to approve MLink's payment application number 15 in the amount of $4,251.25 for work done at Cedar Grove High School. B13 is a motion to approve the following parent transportation contracts for the 17-18 school year. B14 is a motion to retroactively approve the location agreement with Bleacher Report and the Cedar Grove Board of Education. B15 is a motion to submit the 2016-17 New Jersey Department of Ed school self-assessment for determining grades. B16 is a motion to accept the scenery drop donation in the amount of $2,350 from the Cedar Grove High School Drama Club for the auditorium. B17 is a motion to accept the donation from the Cedar Grove High School Drama Club for a spotlight from the four wall lighting entertainment at the cost listed therein. B18 is a motion to approve the following parent transportation contract for the 17-18 school year. B19 is a motion to approve the subscription busing contracts with the parent of the student listed therein for the 17-18 school year. B20 is a motion to approve the following parent transportation contract for the 17-18 school year. And B21 is a motion to approve the purchase of one PlaySense outdoor preschool equipment structure um, for South End School. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Schoner. Aye. Mr. Valero. Aye. Mr. Mandela. Aye. Mrs. Dye. Yes. Uh, from the Office of the Superintendent of Schools, under personnel, can I have a motion for S1 through, there's a lot of pages. Um, oh my. And we keep going. Alrighty, hold on. S1 <laughs> through S23. So moved. Second. All right. S1 is a motion to affirm the superintendent's report on harassment, intimidation, and bullying from July 24th, 2017. S2 is a motion to retroactively approve the following staff member as substitute instructor for the 2017 Cedar Grove Middle School Summer Program. S3 is a motion to retroactively approve the following summer custodians from June 1st at the rate listed therein. S4 is a motion to accept the resignation of Megan Backing, MMS music teacher, as of June 30th. S5 is a motion to rescind Megan backing for the 17-18 school year for the following MMS stipends. S6 is a motion to approve Brittany or South End School preschool teacher, the rate list therein for the, uh, from September 1st, 2017. S7 is a motion to retroactively approve the following personnel for the summer 2017 extended school year program. S8 is a motion to approve Brian Durflaufer 
middle Memorial Middle School computer application for the real world slash special education at the rate listed therein. S9 is a motion to approve Gianna Castelli, MMS teacher of resource at the rate listed therein. S10 is a motion to approve Christine Carabestos, South End kindergarten teacher maternity leave replacement at the rate listed therein. S11 is a motion to approve Erin Jensen, MMS Spanish teacher maternity leave replacement at the rate listed therein. S12 is a motion to approve Susan Casal, uh, MMS math teacher maternity leave replacement at the rate listed therein. S13 is a motion to approve Larissa Cotis, Cedar Grove High School 10 month secretary slash bookkeeper at the rate listed therein. S14 is a motion to approve Donna DeFabis, Cedar Grove High School it's SAC, but it's student assistance counselor, right? Um, at the rate listed therein. S15 is a motion to reemploy and set the salaries for the tenured professional staff members shown below for the 17 18 school year. S16 is a motion to reemploy and set the salaries for the non tenured professional staff members shown below for the 17 18 school year. S17 is a motion to reemploy and set the salaries for the secretarial staff members shown below for the 17 18 school year. S18 is a motion to reemploy and set the salaries for the non tenured secretarial staff shown below for the 17 18 school year. S19 is a motion to reemploy and set the salary and rates for the following staff for the 17 18 school year. S20 is a motion to approve the following fall coaches for the 17 18 school year. S21, I'm just making sure I did. S21 is a motion to approve the following stipend positions according to the new agreement for the 17 18 school year. S22 is a motion to approve the Read Sound Tech Workshop for four additional training days for the drama, musical, and tech advisors. And S23 is a motion to authorize attendance at the following events. I think I got that. Uh, any discussion? Yeah. Yes. Uh, just on um, S1. Oh, okay. The date. Is it supposed oh, to be it should today? Be today, today. July 25th. Right. Yep, you are correct. So S1 should be July 25th, 2017, not the 24th. Correct. Okay, uh, and the only thing I wanted to say is um, Ms. Uh, Backing, who was the Memorial Middle School teacher uh, until June 30th, she will be missed. She was a great asset to the district and uh, she did a good job. So we will she miss did. her. I think a lot of people will miss her. So, roll call, please. Mr. Schoner. Aye. Mr. Valero. Aye. Mr. Mandela. Aye. Mrs. Dye. Yes. Under, oops, I missed one. I missed two. Sorry about that. There were so many. Sorry. Yes. Uh, still under personnel. Sorry about that. Can I have a motion for S24 and S25? So moved. Second. Thought I got them all. S24 is a motion to approve the following leave of absence. And then S25 is a motion to approve the following students for classroom observation. Any discussion? <laughs> Roll call, please. Mr. Schoner. Aye. Mr. Valero. Aye. Mr. Mandela. Aye. Mrs. Dye. Yes. <coughs> now, under curriculum, can I have a motion for S26? So moved. Second. S26 is a motion to retroactively approve from June 22nd, 2017, the following staff for curriculum writing. Uh, any discussion? Roll call. Mr. Schoner. Aye. Mr. Valero. Aye. Mr. Mandela. Aye. Mrs. Dye. Yes. Under contracts, can I have a motion for S27? So moved. Second. S27 is a motion to approve the following contracts for special education students as recommended by the Director of Special Services. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Schoner. I'm abstaining. Mr. Valero. Aye. Mr. Mandela. Aye. Mrs. Dye. Yes. Oh, that was a lot. The meeting is open to the public for comment on I for items on or off the agenda. Seeing none, announcement of future meetings, uh, August 8th, which yes. is quickly approaching. Please. Wow. Uh, here, um, and as a reminder, it's 6 p.m. executive and 7 p.m. Uh, regular meeting. Uh, those are our, our summer hours. <laughs> oh. And then we will be back to our normal time on September 5th which is the day before school begins for students. Uh, 7 p.m. exec, 8 p.m. regular meeting. Anything else, anybody? I'd just like to commend you because if, they, if it was me in your position tonight, 
you got here early, technically, Thank because you. you thought the meeting so was at 8 o'clock tonight, right. and you were here at 10 after 7. If they were waiting for me, I would have, you would have been waiting the whole hour more for me, and even later. So even thank you, what time you are for coming early. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. We do appreciate that. You saved that. Thank it you tonight. So thank much. you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody enjoy their next couple weeks of uh, of summer, right? Yeah. We're back. I, well, I know. In a couple weeks. Well, that's why I said a couple of weeks, because oh. then it's over. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Motion to adjourn. <laughs> I got nothing else. Right? So. Else. So moved. <laughs> Second. <laughs> no discussion. Roll call. Mr. Schoner. Aye. Mr. Valero. Aye. Mr. Mandela. Aye. Mrs. Dye. Yes. We're done. How could he? Yay.